Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo technical developer in this video we are going to talk about how to add a custom model in Odo and also we will uh, talk about how to add custom fields inside this custom model uh, what is a model model are business objects declared as Python classes uh, so uh, inside Odo uh, ORM is actually the key component of uh, Odoo. Inside the ORM, they have uh, defined uh, some uh, classes and um, also they have uh, defined some built-in methods which we can use to interact with the database without writing the queries and uh, things like that. So uh, uh, we will talk about the ORM uh, methods and classes in the upcoming videos. In this video, we will just uh, focus on the basic things uh, like uh, adding a custom model and uh, different attributes of the model and not some of the different some of the fields types and uh, also some of the also we will talk about the attributes of the uh, fields. So model have uh, several attributes like a name of the model uh, in the uh, in screenshot uh, below we can see a uh, name uh, of the model is openacademy.course and also uh, description is as uh, one of the attribute uh, a rec name is also one of the attribute which will shown to uh, will, which will shown to other uh, users inside the relational fields and name is the required attributes for each model so without name you cannot define you cannot add a custom model and a descriptions is not required and you can just uh, define a model without this so this is just the basic definition of a model from Odo import models you will have to import the model and then class you will have to write class and then the model uh, name uh, course course the model uh, a title and inside the brackets you will have to add models that model so this is this model is extending the ORM model uh, which is uh, defined inside the ORM for Udo and then you will have to uh, add the name of the um, model um, name uh, you will have to follow these uh, type of things like underscore name equal to uh, inside the course you will have to write the name uh, open academy dot course and also you can add the descriptions so uh, there are uh, certain fields like what is the purpose of a model inside the model we uh, store data and uh, data can be of different types like date uh, text uh, name uh, and it can be a boolean value so inside the uh, model we define different fields to store different kind of data so fields are used to define what kind of data a model can store and where it will be stored so for example we have added name is equal to fields fields dot char uh, breaker string is equal to title so this is the definition of a field so we have added a field that this field can store a data up type string so there are different type of string uh, different type of uh, fields like uh, char text date date time so we will just explain it later uh, common attributes so there are some common attributes which are which we can define for a field like here we have defined string is equal to title so string is an attribute required is equal to true so required is an attribute we have a field so string is the attribute which is of type unicode and default value is null empty string so what is the purpose of a uh, string string is the label of the field which is visible to the user required is an other attribute which shows if uh, it is true then the field cannot be empty so you uh, you will not be able to save a record without filling this if uh, the required is true so by default you can by default its value is false and you can always give some uh, default value like false or true 
So help is just another attribute of a field uh, which is of type Unicode and by default it is uh, just an empty string. So it is the long form of uh, the field descriptions here you can add uh, the purpose of the field that what is uh, what this field means and what is the purpose of this field. So index is uh, a boolean type and it is an attribute uh, which requests that uh, Odoo creates a database index on that column or not. So uh, this is a boolean field and it has two values like false or true. By default, this is false. If you want to follow uh, some guideline uh, that Odoo has defined for uh, custom module development, so you can visit this link odoo.com slash documentation slash 13.0 slash house to slash backend.html so i am following i am also following this uh, guide uh, to uh, record this uh, videos uh, and uh, this uh, development so you can just uh, copy and paste uh, these things from here so let me just open pycharm and uh, create a new module hmm, for uh, this purpose right click uh, on the custom add-ins uh, directory and then create new directory which will be a new add-in so i'm adding a name academy open academy so I will add a manifest file which is a Python file uh, under double underscore manifest dot UI. So I will add, uh, I will, I don't want to add to the git. So I will uh, just go here and copy this all the manifest file information. For example, uh, we have here these are information let me just copy it here and paste it here so you can just do it uh, here by going this link and then copy it from here all this information so let me just make some changes uh, for example this is the name you can just change it from here this is the summary of the this is the description other i can change it uh, here like uh, order discussion and uh, we can just change it uh, the website link also this is the category this is depend so it will depend on base so we for the time being we don't want to inherit anything so we will just add a custom model so and every, every new module should be dependent on the base model so let me just uh, remove this for the time being and this one also and the demo data also so control save it and next thing what we need to do is to create an init file so right click and then uh, init is also a python file so and then let me add another uh, directory which names is model and then inside the model i will have to add another init file so inside the models i will add a python file open open academy uh, which is a python file so i will import this um, python file inside the init file from how i will import it from dot import open academy and uh, i will import this models uh, directory inside this init file from dot import models import models so this is how we can do it so let me just uh, open up uh, openacademy.py file and let me add uh, the model what we are going to do we will first import the models from odoo import 
models and then we will add the class class model name is course and breakers model start model so it is an extension of model and then column and then uh, enter so here i will have to add a name which is a required uh, attribute of model uh, open academy dot course and then description which is not a required one but i am going to edit of courses and uh, so this is just uh, a minimal auto custom models definition this is the name of the model which is required uh, and this is the description which you can add anything here and uh, these are just a, a minimum uh, attributes that you will have to add so let me just uh, start the server and then go here and then uh, install the module so install the module first of all uh, for a new app if you want to install click this update app list and then search for the module so here it is so let me just open it here to uh, explain the manifest file this is open academy this is uh, the name of the module which is defined in the manifest file open academy uh, this is the author name which is defined in the manifest file uh, here it is and uh, here it is the website which is also defined in the manifest file website and then the category is test so this all information is coming from the this is the technical name uh this is the name technical name of the module and uh, here uh, in the technical information we can see the dependent module so it is dependent on the base module so let me just install this module and then uh, we will check that if the model has been added or uh, not so how we can check uh, the model uh, definition first of all we need to uh, activate the debug mode so here you can um, we have activated it and then go to settings and then technical and then models uh, here under the uh, database definition database structure we can see model and here I will add open academy dot course so here it is this is our custom model uh, name of the model is course model definitions descriptions course model name is open academy dot uh, course and uh, this is the app name where it has been defined so these are all the uh, other information here we can see some of the fields that has been created by default these are the result field which you cannot uh, create uh, custom by custom means so this will be uh, come up with the model by default like uh, create create uid create and display name it is in so let me just uh, add some fields uh, inside this model to check our custom fields for example name is equal to field start char so i want to add a, a string field this is a char field so i want to add an attribute like string which is course name and i want to make it a required true so uh, while creating a course record it must be added the name must be added so i can see here an error uh, message uh, which cannot identifies that what is a field so i will have to import the field uh, here first here fields so this is working now this is the name and then i will have i will have to add descriptions this is another field uh, which is uh, of type uh, text fields dot text uh, so description 
I don't want to make it uh, a, uh, a required field. I will just add help, which shows uh, add course description here. So let me just restart the server and then upgrade the module. So go to apps. Open Academy. Sorry, open Academy. So let me just upgrade it and then go to the settings. So technical and then database models and then uh, search for open academy dot course so here in this model we have added two fields uh, like name and description so we can see here uh, descriptions and this is the name so if i click here i can see the field name is uh, name and the label is course name so let me just make it um, correct c o u r s e so let me restart it and then to upgrade as uh, the module uh and then, then it will take the effect open academy so upgrade it and then refresh the browser tab so refresh it and then you will see the change here so here you can see the field name is you no know, course name and then the type is jar and then field help has not been added so here i have been added an attribute to make it required and read only is read only is another attribute which makes it a read only in the formula which i will explain later stored is also an attribute which is uh, true by default so uh, this means that whether you want to store it in the database or not indexed i have already explained and copied true means that whenever you copy a record so this field should be copied and it is true by default so i can make it false also so enable order uh, tracking is uh, false this means that whenever you make a change so it should be uh, visible to the user or not transitable is false uh, so this is another attribute which means that do you want to add uh, the translation for this field in case of multiple languages so this is the basic uh, um, custom model edition and then we have added some uh, fields and also we have explained about some of the attributes of uh, fields so i think this is nf and in the next video we will add these uh, fields in the form view and also we will add our uh, menus and actions how they are linked together so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and also please like this video and share with your friends